that is a deck made up of 30 super cheap and super aggressive cards known as an aggro or a face deck. So Rob, is this going to change anytime soon? Part of the game's latest expansion, the Grand Tournament, Blizzard has introduced a new gameplay mechanic, the Joust. You play a minion with a Joust battle cry, and then both you and your opponent will pull a random card from your deck, show it, and then shuffle it back in. If your revealed card was shown to be more expensive than theirs, then the minion you dropped will be given a nice bonus. The curse of aggro decks may finally be over. <laughs> Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. We've been kind of going over a lot of the worst of the worst stuff in Hearthstone, whether it be spells or weapons in the last two videos, and I thought we'd make our trilogy, finish off our little series here, our little mini series here, with the worst mechanics in Hearthstone ever, and this will be like a combination of both keywords and just general mechanics we've seen over and over. Like, like for example, discard. Discard's not technically a keyword, but it's a mechanic in the game, and although it's not on the list, it's kind of, you know, an idea of what we're talking about. So so let's get into it. Let's take a look at the 10 worst mechanics in all of Hearthstone. And starting off at number 10, we're gonna go with the spirit cards. The spirit cards, I believe, were introduced in Rostikin's Rumble, and they were all the same type of statted minion. They all had stealth. They were zero threes, and they would stay stealth for one turn, and then they would have some effect. And for the most part, I mean, just take a we'll, we'll scroll through a few of them here. They're just god awful. They would like buff a beast, they would give be like a hand buff with warlock. Priest gave like a greed option of putting a minion back in your deck costing one. Honestly, the only spirit cards that saw real competitive play is the Spear of the Shark for Rogue, which doubled battle cries and combos. And a lot of people argued that that card was not worth running. And then the best one was Spear of the Frog, which well, it gave Shaman one of its rare instances of good card draw and has been sorely missed since it left. But overall, this mechanic, just if you look at these spirit cards, are just absolutely dreadful and kind of remind me of a recent type of addition to the game that might show up on the list. It might caravan its way up the list or something. Oh God, the cringe is unreal. Anyways, um, at number nine, I'm gonna go with Poisonous in Hunter. There has been so many different times they've introduced like a toxic, a poisonous element to Hunter and it's almost exclusively sucked. Take a look at like Acid Maw, one of the worst cards ever made. You have Professor Slate, which has seen almost no play. Carry on Drake, it's this dragon that could gain poisonous and who cared? We have that corrupt beast that can gain poisonous. Toxic Arrow and yeah, the list goes on and on. There are are a couple of cards that are like decent that are an exception to this like venomizer primordial explorer in particular but overall they've really done this whole poisonous thing like with the toxmonger right making your one drops poisonous and even with the introduction of penflinger to the game hasn't really broke through in wild so overall yeah this poisonous aspect to hunter just rarely pays off and quite often is quite disastrous i mean all you gotta do is take a look at vile brood skitterer and you're like, what? Although it was an okay, sometimes okay, Dust Talker Rex are option. At number eight, we're gonna go with minions can't be targeted typically by hero powers or spells. Very few minions of these have ever made the cut of being any good. Range and what kind of effect they have. Like you have like just a garbage mech, arcane nullifier, four mana two five can't be targeted. Basically never saw play. You have Cobalt Monk, which would make your hero not be attacked or spell word jeweler, same effect. And they were kind of terrible tech options. You have robes of protection, literally makes your entire board on un targetable, still has seen zero play. Like if you go through the collection, there are so many different uh, can't be targeted cards that basically have seen zero play, haven't been that great. There are exceptions, of course. You have Bear Shark, a Fairy Dragon, you have Wing Guardian, but for every Wing Guardian, there feels like there's Sogoth hanging around just being absolutely terrible. And it's just one of these mechanics that they can't really make that good because it would be super frustrating. So it usually just doesn't tend to be that great. Next, we have a mechanic that hasn't been introduced all that often. And when it has, it's pretty much always been bad. And that's while this is in your hand, trans form into something, whether it be like a Molten Blade, a Shifter Xeris, Shifting Scroll, or a Camellios, they're basically just all terrible. They're bad top decks, and they typically don't really transform into anything that useful, and have basically never seen competitive play, or just been like a meme option for the most part. They're fun, silly, random cards, but overall, this mechanic has literally led to no real success on ladder, and even in Arena, these are rarely ever cards you would want to take. At number six, we have a pretty recent addition to the list, and it pains me to say it, but Frenzy belongs on this list. 
Frenzy has basically sucked uh, since its introduction. There's been multiple bounce patches in Frenzy. If you look at the stats, does not perform very well. And there's only really two cards that have Frenzy on it that see a lot of play, and that's Efficient Octobot and Blade Master Samuro. Other than that, the Frenzy cards are just underwhelming. They're okay arena cards, but that's about it. We've even seen Frenzy cards in, like the Warrior card buffed recently, and it still hasn't really uh, led to that card seeing a ton more play as of yet. I would even consider putting it higher on the list, but it's still very very early for the mechanic we still have a mini set that might help it out but overall frenzy just has not been that great and honestly i think it's warranted on this list but let me know if you disagree with this one it's one that i'm definitely a little bit more torn on at number five we start getting into the really nasty ones we have overkill we mentioned faraki battle axe in our video yesterday but yeah overkill just is one terrible mechanic you have a couple of decent cards like baited arrow and like undasta but overall you have so many cards like arena pay Patron, for example, I mean, do you need to look at that card to understand why that is absolute garbage? But it did lead to a decent little Battlegrounds card in Ironhide Direhorn, but even that's not that great in Battlegrounds. Yeah, Overkill just really sucked. It just, the payoff for it wasn't great. You'd have to get these weird trades and it just never really worked out. And uh, Baited Arrow, it could go face and it can make a 5-5 beast. So that, that's a bit of play. But overall, Overkill, just one of the worst mechanics in the game ever, but only number five. So let's keep going. At number four, you might not even remember that this mechanic existed, but this mechanic, well, I don't know how to really describe it, but while this is in your hand, it's attack and health would flip. This was during the Witchwood, and we saw a number of cards have this effect and they basically all sucked. It, like Dusk Haven Hunter was one of the better looking ones. Like it was a two five with stealth. It could be a five two with stealth, could go face, but that was pretty bad. Fucking peasant, two four life steal, you know, taunt, stare Swift Messenger, okay, arena card. The only card that kind of saw a tiny little bit of play, I believe, was Gidlan Royal Guard. I think for its Corpse Taker synergies at some point. But other than that, this mechanic just really didn't do anything, and we haven't seen it come back since. So it's just kind of one of those forgotten about ones that just really, really failed spectacularly. At number three, we have another new addition to the list from this latest expansion. And this one's warranted on the list. The Caravans, all of them. They all suck. I mean, the Caravan, they, they see no play. They didn't even get buffed in the most recent buffs. They're just two minute one threes that have started turn effects and none of them see play on ladder, like at all, pretty much period. Like Dude Paladin, kind of, a little bit, maybe that one, the Paladin one, but other than that, they, they're just absolutely garbage. I mean, all you gotta do is look at the Warlock one and think about what one drops would you want to cheat out from your deck onto the battlefield and they just like don't exist in standard and not even really in wild a little bit in wild you have like the injured i think injured guy there but holy like these are just so freaking bad and i i just the worst part about it is they made an achievement based around having these activate on your turn or whatever you gotta actually get that activated and i finished it because i'm a masochist but overall just one of the worst mechanics ever and it's i just i even asked in an ama what things are like are they happy with the power level? What's the point? And he didn't even answer it because, well, I think they forgot they even made them. So that's probably the reason. And at number two, we're getting to some really nasty stuff and uh, it's not very inspiring if you know what I mean. So yes, the inspire mechanic, the mechanic introduced in the grand tournament where you would hero power and gain a bonus effect. And these just sucked. They did really bad. I mean, look at an argument watchman, look at a Coliseum manager. Would you ever want to invest in extra hero power into this effect? Most of the Inspire cards were unplayable and didn't become better until Reno and Gen became things later on, so I can't really justify them as okay mechanics when, you know, they weren't good because of things that came later that had nothing to do with them, but for the most part, they were just made to be bad. The, the devs have even admitted as much. They were afraid that hero power strategies wouldn't lead to fun experiences, so they basically intentionally made them underpowered, and while we saw when the hero power strategies are really good with Gen and Baku, that led to things being Hall of Fame a year earlier. Early. So they might have been right in the first place to make them not great, but we have seen uh, Inspire kind of return at, po at points of like Face Stalker and Dragon's Bane. Those cards were incredibly good, but they didn't have Inspire on them, and it's just 
these just just suck inspires bad we all know it and it, it's just something that we all look, can look back at and laugh now but i mean we have frenzy now and frenzy and caravans they're really close it's kind of crazy that we're getting to that range again and before we get to number one let's take a look at some few honorable mentions here first we're gonna go with the demon hunter sigils they're kind of a unique mechanic where your opponent can't interact with them at all and like you can either silence something or deal three aoe there's only two in the game and it's very early on and i think the mini set will have more of them or some support for them so it's a little early to put it on the list but i thought i would mention it because they really haven't done a heck of a lot on ladder um next is hand buff hand buff has actually done really well if if it was just like a year ago you probably i could have considered hand buff because for the longest time it was only like hand buff meth paladin that was ever any good the rest all suck but lately there's just been so much good stuff with all the additions to hand buff that i can't really warrant putting on the list but i just thought i'd mention it because if you look at a card like don honcho right that they used to be historically bad but hand buff's not so bad and it's definitely not one of the worst anymore and last honorable mention is uh elemental decks for like shaman and mage some have taken off so it's not why it's on the list but overall take a look at like the grand finale take a look at all the elemental stuff in shaman nowadays they just rarely work it's so clunky and odd and they're really cool on paper, but the elemental stuff just typically is either like fringe or non-existent. And it's kind of sad because the flavor is always really cool. It just rarely ever pans out. So at number one, the worst mechanic of all time, you saw it in the intro, it didn't save us from aggro. And that is the joust mechanic. The joust mechanic sucked a giant one. It was just garbage. Joust minions in general, so we already had it described in the intro, required you to win the joust to be any good. Otherwise they were bad. The problem with the mechanic was if you lost, it was crippling and you would lose the game. If you hit it, it was decent, but overall still rarely ever worth it. The only ones that really saw play was like healing wave because three mana heal seven wasn't that bad. And King Zealot, because it's two mana three, two beast and hunter. If you won the joust, great. If you didn't, you're getting a, you know, a bloodfin raptor. That's fine. Whatever. It's okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. And yeah, that was basically it. And we did see the mechanic kind of come back with Raven familiar for mage. That was pretty good, but overall horrendous mechanic. And it was just such a, it was like, oh, we're going to punish aggro with this. It never panned out. And you would lose so many jobs to aggro because you still need a good curve. You can't just go all out on a late curve. So it got a good amount of time you would tie and it was just garbage. It's kind of ridiculous that the top two worst mechanics both came from the, from the same expansion, the grand tournament. So yeah, grand tournament, a bit of a yikes. These mechanics are yikes, but then again, maybe i'm wrong maybe my opinion's garbage as always so let me know in the comments below what you think the worst mechanics in hearthstone are what did i leave off this list that should have been on there what shouldn't be on there all that good stuff if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends